Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that today is the day to let you know about Windows issues. And this is now the third video I'm posting today regarding issues with Windows. Now the latest is that according to reports, so just take note this is not confirmed officially by Microsoft, but according to reports, which were first posted by Niche PC Gamer, which is this website, which by the way you might have to translate into your language of choice. There's a problem where the SSD would fail if a large number of files were written at once. So that's the main issue here. And there are quite a few reports doing the rounds online regarding this issue. And apparently the latest scared update for Windows 11 24H2 is causing this issue for some users. So if we head into our Windows Update page on Windows 11 24H2 update history, this is the update that is the guilty one, 5063878, which was this month's Patch Tuesday update. I posted on that. I'll leave the video linked if you'd like some more information. Or this update, KB5062660, which was last month's optional update. But if you didn't install this update, those changes and fixes and so on would have been bundled into this update, as you may well know. So those are the two offending updates according to that report. Now apparently the issue may affect systems with solid state drives if a large number of files or a large single file are written to the drives after obviously the update has been installed. And then what happens is that the drive becomes inaccessible as a worst case scenario. Now, apparently this issue was first reported by a user over on X called Nekuro Cat. And by the way, I'll leave the, the website and the post on X by Nekuro Cat. I'll leave both of those linked in the description. Where this user noticed that the issue occurred while updating the game Cyberpunk 2077 after the latest security update for Windows 11 24H2 as mentioned which is this update was installed on their system and then what happened after the update was installed is that the drive that Cyberpunk 2077 was installed on became inaccessible and the user noted that writing more than 50 gigabytes of files continuously to the SSD with a usage rate of at least 60% caused the issue. And it is noted that the SSD would reappear after a restart and become recognized again. But then writing once again large amounts of data to the drive would cause the issue again according to this user over on X as mentioned. And it's also noted that some SSDs did not become available again after reboots. So it's a bit of a random issue. Now, if we head back to the website, just have a look at the drives that are affected and not affected, according to this post, as mentioned, will be linked in the description. Here are the SSDs with the issue. And you can just pause the video at the relevant timestamp. And here are the SSDs, according to the post, without any problems. And as mentioned, Microsoft as yet has not responded. And if you are running a system with any of the SSDs listed, then for whatever reason, if you haven't installed these two updates, then I would pause those updates and postpone the installation until more details become available, just as a safety net. And if you have installed these updates, then what you can try and do is not write large single files to the drive. Do not write a large number of files in a row. Write them in several parts, okay, over a certain time period. And when unpacking a large compressed file containing a large number of files, once again, do not do it all at once, but in several parts. And then what you can also do, obviously, is you can uninstall the updates. 
which is not really recommended because 5063878 is a security update. But if the negatives are outweighing the positives, then just uninstall the update by heading down to the bottom of your update history page and clicking on uninstall updates, find the update, and then just uninstall the update from your system and then come back and then pause the update because that is an automatic update. Pause your updates, obviously, until a fix becomes available or we get more information. But as mentioned, not officially confirmed by Microsoft but there are numerous reports doing the rounds online. So just keeping you up to date like we like to do on the channel. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.